You may have already seen our Boats.com video on how to change lower unit oil. Well, today we're at Norfolk Marine to see how you change the engine oil. Let's get started. Okay, first up, I'm going to pop the uh, latches, get the hood off, set this out of the way. Okay, we just warmed the engine up outside, now we're in the shop. Uh, we want to make sure we get the engine up to operating temperature so we can get all of the oil out of it. Okay, next step, we're going to remove the dipstick, set it aside, grab the tube. Hey, wait a minute, Chris. Why don't you just use the drain down here instead of using the extraction pump? Well, you can use the drain. The main thing is it's very messy, and if you're doing a service over the water, it's just not an option. You have to take it out through the dipstick so you don't make a mess. Oh, that's a good point. Now you just pump it up. It'll start pulling the oil out. Okay, now we shove a rag underneath the filter to try to keep the mess down. Take your filter pliers, break the filter loose, and remove it. Okay, now you want to put a little bit of oil or grease on the new O-ring. Spin the filter on hand tight. The final step is going to be filling the motor with oil and checking the level. All right, Lenny, we've got the oil change completed. We've checked the oil, it's at the proper level. Ready to take it outside and roll. All right, hey, let me ask you something. You know, an oil change is not an incredibly complex procedure, right? But, right. man, if you mess it up, you pay big time, don't you? Yeah, the consequences are pretty severe if you mess this one up. So how does someone really know if they're competent to try this job or not? Well, if they have a mechanical background and it's something they feel comfortable doing and they've done it on other things and have gotten it right there, they'd probably be okay doing it here. Otherwise, we hope you take it in, right? Definitely. All right, thanks for your help. You're very welcome.